What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you three easy tools in Photoshop on how to clean up your photos. You know, whether it's dust on your sensor, people, uh, signs, just objects you want to take out of your photos. I'm going to show you guys the clone stamp tool, the spot healing brush tool, and the lasso tool with the content aware fill. In case you're only interested in one of these tools, I'm going to put timestamps right here if you'd like to skip ahead. Otherwise, let's hop into my computer and show you guys how to do it. <laughs> All right, so for this first photo is a drone shot that I took in Koh Phi Phi in Thailand. And first tool that we are going to use is right here. It is the spot healing brush tool. Um, it's relatively similar to the one in Lightroom, but this one is like a thousand times more effective because the one in Lightroom, you have to find a nearby spot and Lightroom does not really do that good of a job with it. The awesome thing about this spot healing brush tool is that you don't have to take it from another place. Photoshop itself uses the surrounding pixels to get rid of what it thinks you want to get rid of and it does an incredible job. This is my favorite tool that I'm going to be going over today. So I'm just going to zoom in on the photo. I'm going to make a copy of my background layer just in case we want to change anything for whatever reason. And here's my spot healing brush tool. Um, we've got it on normal mode, content aware, don't really use any of that other stuff ever. And I'm going to use the bracket keys to make my brush bigger and then poof, the boats just disappear. So this is an incredible, incredible tool. And as you guys can see, Photoshop is doing an insane job getting rid of this and you would not be able to tell the difference. All right, so just within like 30 seconds of doing the spot healing brush tool, you can see all the boats are gone and this looks incredible. It looks so much cleaner. I'll show you before and after. This is an incredible tool to clean up your photos and by far my favorite. And you can always go over multiple times. So it looks like there's some spots where shadows are left behind. So you can just kind of go through, take a second pass and the more you do it, the more Photoshop will learn as you do it. So it's a super awesome tool. All right, so this second photo I took in Huacachina, Peru, also a drone shot, and we are going to use the lasso tool and something called content aware fill. So right here we have uh, right now the polyg polygonal lasso tool, so we can do control click, and then we have options for lasso or polygonal lasso. Just to show you the polygonal lasso, you pretty much draw out a selection, but with hard edge lines, or if you just use the lasso tool, you can pretty much draw whatever you want, and then that will become your selection. So you can draw, you know, circles, you can draw squares. It's really good for odd shapes and people and stuff. So I'm going to just draw this lasso around this guy, control click my selection, click fill, and we want content aware, color adaptation, uh, mode normal for blending and 100% opacity. Click OK. And now he is gone. So this is a super awesome tool and it's really nice if you have very like odd shaped things that you need to fill. Something like this, it works great with. And Photoshop is again just using surrounding pixels. So I'm not gonna go through this entire photo just because there's no real reason to, but I'll show you a before and after. So people are gone, and I think Photoshop does a great job with this tool as well. On this third photo, this is something I took back here at home in Baltimore, Maryland, and we're just going to be using the clone stamp tool. And I've got this on a soft round brush, and I've got it on normal blend mode. And the opacity, so if you do 100% opacity, it's going to completely copy and paste a selection kind of similar to the spot healing brush tool in Lightroom. But if you do a something less than 100% opacity, you can almost uh, grab a selection of something and then blend in just lighter opacities of something. So it's a little bit better for blending. So I'm gonna put this at 100% opacity first. And what you do to make your selection, like let's see, this line, let's try to get out of there. So I'm gonna do option click and it's taking what I just selected, this area, and then you can just click multiple times 
and now it's gone. So for example, if I do option click on these scraggly lines and put it over here, I'm going to get a 100% opacity of my selection. Now let's put this to 24%, make a selection again, and then click over here. It's going to be a much lighter selection. And I kind of just did this for purposes of showing you guys the difference in opacity, but I'm gonna undo both of those because I don't want that. And yeah, so I can just make a selection and honestly, like with, let's say, 77% opacity, I can pretty much just like brush over all of this. And it does a very good job of just cleaning some stuff up. And you know, sometimes you can grab a darker color and you can kind of blend things in a little bit. So if you do a rough job like I did, you know, grab a darker color, light opacity, and you can just blend it in. So it does a really, really good job. If I want to just take little things out like this right here, whatever that may be from the reflections, just do option click and then brush it out. And Photoshop does a really good job with the clone stamp tool of taking things out like this. Again, for this photo, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but just kind of showing you guys what this tool does. And it's like a nice copy and paste with the clone stamp tool. And I think it just does a great, great job, especially on certain things when you want to just copy and paste. I think that did a good job. I'll just show before and after some of the things I did. So as you guys can see, there's multiple ways to blend stuff in Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is a very, very, very smart software and it just gets better with every single version. So these tools are great. I use them in editing most of my photos just when I want general cleanup and things like that. Yeah, I think it just does an awesome job. And again, my favorite is the spot healing brush tool, but for different photos, you might always need different tools. So I also use the lasso tool quite a bit and I also use the clone stamp tool quite a bit. Anyways, I hope you guys found value in this video and hopefully this helped you out with some new Photoshop skills. If you can, please like and subscribe. I make tons of videos like this for educational stuff, a lot of van life stuff, traveling, short time lapse and drone films, hiking, a whole bunch of stuff on this channel. So hope to see you guys on a future video and thank you for watching.